Hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. This is a reading for the Dark Feminine um, for the Sagittarius full moon that is coming up uh, in a couple weeks here. Um, but I don't know when you're when you're reading this or when you're receiving this reading. So um, just take it for what it is if you stumble upon this and it is not anywhere near this Sagittarius full moon. Just take it as you were supposed to hear this anyway. Maybe this is a place that you are in your life right now. And for those who don't understand the Dark Feminine, um, the Dark Feminine is the Divine Feminine who is now like stepping out into the new, into her true self. Um, and and she has to get across some barriers that society has made for her. It's, it's like society's put her in this small box and, and she is meant to be bigger than this box. And um, and there are some things that she has to get through and go through and, and maybe some energy she has to embrace in order to get there. So the first thing I'm going to just talk about today is the message for yourself. And I don't know, maybe this will be an overall theme. Um, we, we seem to have like three shadow cards here to talk about. So let's first talk about like this card that came out. So this is convince yourself, not others. So it looks like um, maybe this past new moon in Gemini, you've done some talking. You've been telling people what exactly it is that you want maybe you're even a little bit ahead of the game and you've been making some decisions that are actually making your life change like literally changing your life and so let's see uh, don't let self-doubt get in the way at all especially if people are reacting to you right now um you know because by you being your true self you are you are causing projection in other people now let's look at the back um it says the need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need, because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Okay. Ooh, that hits, that hits deep. Um, let's see right now. <laughs> All right. Look at that. A new start is coming. A new start is coming. I know this is a full moon, um, but a new start is coming for you. You may actually be you know, listening to this during a new moon, who knows, but this is a new start, like new energies are coming through and maybe the realizations of these cards here. Okay. So let's look at this. Um, first, this is the dark goddess Oracle deck. Okay. And there are five dark feminine goddesses. Um, I've talked about in other videos, go check those videos out. Let's see what we are going to be getting through, um, around this Sagittarius full moon energy. Ooh, we have defense. All right. We have seduction. Ooh, I'm already getting a lot of downloads. And we have Deliverance. Okay. Okay, so you've probably spoken your truth and now you're being hit with harsh criticism. I mean, there's only so much someone can take, especially if, if you've been a child who's, whose parents thought criticism or um, putting you down was a way to build you up. I'm not, I'm not really sure if people really think that, but I, I, I don't know a positive way to consistently criticize your children, but I do feel like there were always unfair comments your way. Um, there was always some type of judgment placed against you. And um, even if you were silent about it or you, or maybe you just heard it, like it's like you walked by people and they would say it or your parents would say it like passively and you would hear it and that would kind of make you or manipulate your behavior. Um, you know, you could feel that you are always attacked. And so defense has become your immediate response mechanism. Now, I don't think that you've been doing this a lot lately, but I do feel like you need to start to recognize where this came from. Okay, so, um, you know, it's sad because you feel like you have to defend that part of you um, that others fear to understand, you know, like you're dimming your light somewhat to avoid a persecution. And I mean, this is hitting home to me just because I've been in a place where I've been very self-expressive um, with myself and it was, it was criticized and shamed and made very a traumatic experience. Um, and I'm working through that myself. So this is insane that this is coming up for me, but, um, you know, for the most part, what you're supposed to defend now is defend your path and that of those. So, you know, this is basically just saying like, there's no more need to seek anyone's approval. Okay. Defend your affinity, defend your femininity, defend your, your truths. Okay. So I'm actually getting two different, completely, um, two complete different kind of um, energies with this. First, there is this energy of you really doing what you want. Okay. Like the universe wants you to do what you want. Um, the only way, you know, karma is going to come back in a negative way is if you have negative intentions with whatever it is what you want. But if it's always positive intentions for you and yourself and your family and the higher good, there's no negative karma that will come back. And it's even possible that people might say that, but um, it's, it's definitely not real. Um, so just be on the lookout for you know, really trying to figure out what it is you want to do, look at that path, and then don't let others persuade you out of it. 
Um, and this could have been something from the past. I'm thinking like the youngest child, you know, who always gets persuaded to do what everybody else wants. There is some persuasion that's going on. But at the same time, there's also this energy of like you being this natural charmer and you being able to use your words and your seductive abilities and your sexuality to get whatever the fuck you want and people not give a shit. Like, don't give a shit about what people say. Like, they just wish they had that ability too. So if, um, you know, if people have any judgment about those who are using their body or using their words or using their sexuality to um, bring a message across or get what they want, um, we need to get that limited belief out of our heads that that's wrong. Okay, um, we were given these ama amazing and gorgeous bodies for a reason and they should not be they shouldn't be hidden So we need to get rid of that shame as well Like using what we have to get what we want instead of getting seduced by others. That is what we need to work on right now Okay So this card is amazing because this card brings up a lot of fears from childhood where someone says you know, like, oh, I'm not going to support you if you choose to do this. Like, if you choose to do something other than what I say, I will not support you. And it feels like you work so hard and there's a storm ahead, but there's no one there to catch you. You know, it's almost like you can do what you want, but I'm not going to be there for you. There's this energy of us really stepping into ourselves and knowing that all the difficulties that you've been facing are going to remain in the past. Don't take the past with you. Like, don't get manipulated by the words of people that says, remember what happened last time? Like, fuck them. Okay. This is basically saying that nature will help you get what you want. Okay, the forces of nature are on your side. Okay, um, and you know, like reap the benefits of of what you've been sowing, and understand the intentions of those as well, because those will play out in your life definitely. Okay, so let's look at the last card here. Ooh, love and compassion, and it looks like a lot of you are being asked to really go into um, your heart chakra. Um, let's see a little bit more. Like love and compassion is a little bit more about other than heart chakras. Um, it does have to bring love into the situation. Like you have to find a love for something specifically. And what this card is saying is if you are not finding any balance in your life, bringing love to the situation is literally the fundamental element of balance. Okay. And the balance of life. Um, it holds the seeds to new paradigms of evolution. So um, when we do healing or um, when we call upon the healing energies to help another individual, Reiki, for example, we are using love. We are using our heart chakras. So always bring love into the situation, okay? And um, specifically with yourself, okay? Because you completely deserve this new life. All right, congratulations. I'll see you guys at the next new moon phase.